Hey, what's up? This is GP75 Motorsports here, and welcome back to another Skyrim video. Um, I, first off, I have to apologize for the little, uh, sort of five-day gap between videos, but, you know, college is a, is a bitch. Uh, but I'm back, and I'm playing some Skyrim as I should be, and I'm here to share with you another awesome mod. Um, this one is Become King of Riverhelm. And as you can see, I'm standing right here outside of Whiterun. And why am I standing outside of Whiterun? Well, here's the reason. I uh, yeah. This is a pretty freaking big castle. Uh, uh, but anyway, so... Even if you know what this is, you might be wondering, why am I reviewing such an old mod? I mean, it was abandoned a couple of months ago, um, and just basically left to rot. Well, good news, ladies and gentlemen, a guy by the name of Lowcaster, who is thoroughly awesome, by the way, decided to pick it up and resume development on it. Um, so, uh, I mean, and he is put in, I think he said, over 500 uh, work hours um, building and composing papyrus scripts and whatnot for this place, and uh, he's put in over 40 all-nighters, and let me tell you, it really shows. I mean, uh, the old version of the mod, you saw, you know, this uh, part of them shown you here. This is basically all we got with the old version of the mod, which is developed by, uh, Reflex 101 and, uh, and Raymarine. So, but yeah, um, let's, uh, let's go explore. I have explored this place a little bit, but I still don't know, uh, 75% of it. I, uh, actually had another shoot yesterday, or a couple of days ago, and uh, I ran into some audio problems. So yeah, anyway, let's uh, let's open this thing up. So there's this lever here that opens these gates to uh, to the um, to Riverhelm. And yeah, I mean, look at this. I mean, the this is freaking amazing. I mean, this area here must have been at least 10 hours of work. Uh, I mean, it is not easy to build, uh, to build a, to build a, a castle in the creation kit. I mean, it is really, really hard, especially one that's as in-depth as this place. Uh, but anyway, so, uh, yeah. I believe those doors there lead into the castle proper, but let's uh, let's go ahead and explore the area, you know, the walls before we actually get into the meat of the mod. Uh, so, yeah, as you can see, this is just huge in every single way. Uh, I mean. Uh, just think all the work this guy put in. And those uh, armor sets on these guards are completely custom. Completely custom meshes. Um, completely custom tex textures. You know, I mean, even those are built from the ground up. And 3D modeling and texturing is not easy at all. Uh, so major kudos to him on uh, on that regard. So yeah, we've got this little uh, guard post here where you can uh, get a pretty good view of the road here. Uh, so you get plenty of warning if uh, if the uh, if the Imperials or the Stormcloaks decide to attack, or you know, if you get like a bandit raid or something. Uh, so yeah, and you also get a pretty good view of uh, of um, Dragon's Reach and. If you look close enough, you can just see, 
Your old Balgrove staring out of that window right there. I can see his face is green with envy. Um, by the way, uh, you can go ahead and ignore that distant terrain over there because that was added by another mod, Castle Darkoon. Uh, so yeah, that's a completely that's a completely different mod review. That's that's an awesome uh, mod too. But I had done salt, but uh, it changes your distant terrain uh, so that even after you deactivate it in the data files, uh, it still keeps that distant terrain there. Uh, but yeah. Anyway, so back to the mod that we were working on. I mean, as you can see, this is just insanely complete here. And we've got a catapult. Holy cow, what? I'm sorry. You can activate this? I've got to, I've got to see this. Whoa! Holy shit! Dude! That is awesome! Wow! Can I do it again? We'll do it again. Can I do it again? I could do that all day. Look at... Dude, that is just... Crazy. Uh, what? How did he do that? Is that humanly possible? Apparently it is. No, it's not. This guy is... This guy is pretty much... The frigging... Uh, creation kit stig is official. I mean, you put a freaking working catapult in this freaking castle? That That is just mad. That is just mad. And whoa. Uh, did you do this? Yeah. You totally killed that saber cat on your own. Right. Anyway, so let's see. Oh, an amethyst. Uh, but I'm encumbered now, so I gotta get rid of it. We got five of the darn things anyway. So, uh, yeah. So uh, we are at the. Uh, we're just about to enter the city. Um. By the way, in case you're wondering where this all is, um. There's uh there's Riverwood right there, so it's just uh it's just sort of north uh, northeast of it. Uh this, this bunch of uh this bunch of fast travel icons here. You know, this one, uh this one, this one, and uh somewhat that one. Because I think that was a yeah, that was had by the, by this mod. Uh but anyway, so yeah. Uh let's enter the city of Riverhelm. Stood at the awesome Skyrim logo. I could do that all day, too. <coughs> Excuse me. So, yeah, what should be our first goal? Uh, I mean, there's a ton of stuff to do in this, in this mod. Uh, so, I think our first goal should be maybe to, uh... Well, explore the city. <laughs> That's a fitting first goal. So, yeah. I mean, this city that you see here is literally almost as expensive as Whiterun is just that insane. I mean, like, holy cow. And this is maybe 20%, 15, 20% of the uh, overall area that you get to explore in this mod. Um, in the castle, once you become king of Riverhelm, which you can, is the tile which you can buy for like 50,000 gold, you get an insanely big castle from what I hear. I haven't actually bought the, uh, I, I haven't actually bought the, uh, title yet. Uh, so, in fact, I... Um, in the previous recording, all I managed to do is get up to the rank of knight. So, uh, anyway, uh, let's go ahead and explore, 
Where should we explore first since we're here? I wonder if this all requires a key. Yeah, it does. Riverhelm home. Huh. And apparently there's a guard and another catapult that I'm automatically compelled to activate. I mean, seriously, how do you do that? How do you do that? I didn't even know that was possible. I wonder, when it lands, does it actually do damage? That I mean, that would be amazing. If it actually did damage. So yeah, uh, I, I like this bonfire here. Huh. That's a, that's a pretty cool uh, little town centerpiece. Hmm. Very interesting. And as you can see, the people of uh, the people of uh, Riverhelm are very practical, practically minded. Uh, I mean, this this is still freaking awesome. But I mean, you can tell that the way of life here is just you know bare bones basic. Uh, so anyway. Uh, Where does this go? Marlene's Inn. Hmm. Wonder what's in here. I've never been. Hmm. Okay. So, uh, fairly nice looking, uh, inn here. Wonder if you go upstairs, if that's where the bar is. Huh. Okay, so, uh, doesn't look, doesn't look finished, but, uh, yes, yes, I, got all day. I wonder if it's through this door, I wonder why it would be, but, I don't know, uh, huh, so that, that's weird, and it, it's an inn without a place to buy stuff, um, Marlene Ville Angor. Okay, so you can't. Okay, what are you doing? Yes. What? What are you doing? Huh? What? Okay. Yes. Uh, okay. Uh, cars is apparently frozen. Carjo, wake up. Hello, wake up. Carjo. Carjo. Whatever. Uh, <laughs> um, so yeah, that, uh, was a little bit of a disappointment. I don't think it was the best, necessarily the best, uh, the best way to start the mod, uh, the review of the mod off as far as interiors go, but I do know of a far better one. Uh, you're really gonna like this. I mean, I know you're gonna like this. If I could just find it. Um, here it is, I think. Um, so, uh, yeah, this is gonna be it. Nope, never mind. Um, anyway, what this, uh, what this next, uh, what this next interior is, is, uh, you remember... The uh, Imperial City Arena from Oblivion, and uh, I think uh, I think Arena had it before that, where you could actually, um, where you could actually go and you could like enter a tournament, and basically you could like place bets uh, on uh, on fighters, and you could actually uh, participate in the fighting yourself. Well, this is the same sort of thing. And uh, here it is here, the Riverhelm Arena. Uh, so, uh, right now, uh, betting isn't implemented. So, really all you can do is you can uh, go down into here uh, by opening that. And, um, as you can see, it doesn't really have anything to start with. Well, that's what these... Uh, five levers do. So, 
Basically, these five levers spawn a different kind of enemy, depending on which one you throw. Uh, so, you've got a giant that can be spawned, a wolf, a uh, bandit, uh, actually a group of bandits, and a group of wolves as well. Uh, I think a couple of saber cats, and a uh, bandit boss, a bandit chief. So, uh, just because I like killing bandits, I'm going to throw the bandit lever. Huh. Yeah, you got that right, buddy. <laughs> I love doing this. It's like Ant Venom and Cows. Uh, so, yeah. That, so, uh, yeah, that's basically how it works. And then, when you kill these people, uh, you can loot the gold off your, want, off your, uh, off their bodies. And, wow, 161 gold. And, uh, and that's your reward, is the gold you loot off of their bodies. Uh, so, uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to, uh, just to even the odds a little bit, I'm going to change to the Cold Harbor Great Sword, which is another fantastic mod. And I'm going to spawn a bandit boss. I know, good idea, right? Over here, stupid. Holy cow! Ow! Okay, that hurt. Damn it! How do you do that? Okay. This guy really has it coming to him now. Uh, just let me get my reward back from the bandits. And then he's as good as history. I'm using Arrow of, Arrows of Instant Kill, which is actually one of the first Skyrim mods ever to come out. Uh, so yeah, that's how I'm just able to instantly kill these guys. You know what? I just came up with an idea. I'm going to throw all of these levers at the same time and hope I can survive. Okay, so, shit just went down! Ah, oh, shit! Uh, I think I may have gotten in over my head. Uh. Wow. I just critted on you, you stupid. Huh. I mean, this is... Okay, so it's just me and the giant now. I'm going to switch to Cold Harbor Great Sword just to even the odds a little bit. Wait, what? Did did, did Carjo just one-shot that guy? I think he would just one-shot the friggin' giant. No? Huh. Well, he tried to he tried to kill someone. So, Carjo, you sneaky bastard! <laughs> Carjo, man, he does he does absolutely nothing in the <laughs> except help you cheat uh, when you're in the pit. So, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what you guys are clapping at. There's nothing to clap at. There's a bunch of dead bodies in the arena. Did I loot that guy? I... Whatever, it doesn't matter. Oh, yeah. Uh... One thing that I forgot to mention that that just reminded me about was that was completely new voice acting. I mean, as if all the other stuff wasn't good enough. He had to go in and throw... Uh, he had to go and throw in new voice acting, which is one of the hardest things to do in the creation kit. 
I mean, like, what? Uh, anyway, so, uh, if Skyrim would kindly load, there we go. Uh, so let's go ahead and explore the Four Shields Tavern. Uh, I don't think I've actually ever been in here. So, Four Shields Bar, Four Shields Tavern, whatever. Uh, the Four Shields. Uh, let's just call it the Four Shields. Um, okay. So, uh, yeah. So, uh, anyway, as you can see, this is, yeah, this is pretty much, uh, this is pretty much completely, uh, done. This is, he even appears to have a little leak. <laughs> that's, a, that's a nice bit of detail. So I wonder if we can actually buy things off of the, um, off of the tavern owner. Yeah, uh, looks like we actually can. So if we, uh, need something to eat, we can just come here. And, uh, on our adventures exploring this place. Um, so, is that all the interiors that we, that are, uh, in the town? I think so. Um, yeah, so, I mean, that's all the ones that we currently, uh, have access to. Um, so, just, I'm just making sure, Riverhelm Bakery... Um, I'm not going to waste your time on all of these. My ingredients. Um, what is this? Home decor. Consumer curiosity peaked. I'm going to go, uh, I'm going to go take a look. Let's, uh, have a look what the home decor shop could possibly have in store for us. Huh. Okay, so a lot, bunch of jugs. Topless woman, the statue of Dibella. Wow. Uh, I wonder if that's actually for sale. That would be crazy if it was. Berenzia's crown. Whoa. Okay. I. Uh, <laughs> okay. Can I actually buy things off of you? Uh, miscellaneous br He's got four of these damn things? How on earth do you have four of these? I mean, they're worth all 